okay, in this video, I'm not vertical spy right now. I am going to be with my real name, Alex Holiday. Let me tell you guys this. I can respect them making a Ninja Turtles reboot. And as the producer is Michael Bay. I can accept those things. I can even kind of accept them trying to change the story of the Turtles' origin. Explaining that they might be aliens or the mutant of Genogen that they got. That turned them into mutant turtles. Came from aliens or whatever. There is one fucking thing I do not want to accept. It's Megan Fox as April O'Neil. I am serious. <clears throat> they have announced that Megan Fox, this talentless, Hot looking girl that has no personality in a movie is now playing a, a somewhat likable character from the Ninja Turtles movies that you that was the number one thing that was appealing in Ninja Turtles. I might be wrong, but she April O'Neil was appealing in Ninja Turtles. Now I know you're probably saying, Vertigo, are you a Ninja Turtles fan? Yes. I watched the movies when I was a little kid. I didn't care how violent they were. I enjoyed the second one. I never had a chance to see the third one when I was a kid. But I saw it when I was 13, and yeah, it was shit. Total shit. But, if this movie gets released, depending on its trailer, this will be almost worse than Ninja Turtles 3. Now, if you want to show how much of a turtle fan I was, join me right here. Now, I want y'all to look at this picture. Look at this picture of these kids. Now, you see this kid right here? That's me as a little kid. And me wearing Ninja Turtles on my clothes. I was a hardcore Ninja Turtle fan. Yeah, I was a hardcore Ninja Turtle fan when I was a kid. I grew out, I sort of kind of not grown out of it, but I still watch, I, if I ever get a chance of buying the whole entire Ninja Turtles TV series DVD collection of the whole shows from time to time, I'll buy them. Because it was my childhood. It was my childhood. I didn't get into Power Rangers during the time, but you know, that didn't last a bit too long. So I'm still not that into Power Rangers. I'm still sort of kind of into Ninja, Ninja Turtles, kind of, not really, maybe. But, you know, Dragon Ball, I'm definitely into. Dragon Ball Z, I'm also into, and Ma Max Movies. Okay, it's getting to the point. Megan Fox as April O'Neil. Was this Michael Bay's plan? Was this seriously Michael, Bla Michael Bay's fucking plan of ruining Ninja Turtles forever? Okay, I can take that the point of the fact that the, that the Ninja Turtles storyline in this movie, that the, that, the, that the ooze that turned them into Ninja Turtles came from aliens. I can accept that. I mean, it's... The, See how he's saying that this might have an alien origins or some shit like that. I don't know. He probably must have been making some of this shit up just to get us pissed off. And yes, he did get those letters saying that he's an idiot and he's ruining the franchise that they, that they love. He actually had to announce saying everybody needs to calm down and take a chill pill. Because we haven't worked on this movie just yet. So basically they're still working on this movie. But... The one thing that is official, the story, well, not the story, April O'Neil. Come on. 
Megan Fox. Okay, seriously, after the first Transformer movie, which I did see, I didn't love, but I found it enjoyable. I think Megan Fox is... I didn't enjoy That line when she said in the movie, when she says, I'm glad I got in that car with you. Look, I'm sorry. Um, that was supposed to make me cry or something? I mean, really? Because that's got to be the worst line I've ever heard any woman say. And I just like, might as well bl blame the writers for that. But I do not like this one. Because of her, I didn't go see Revenge of the Fallen, which sucked, but I didn't really hate. I thought the effects of it were awesome. That's all I can give it. Her in the movie, she... Her and Shelva go into this thing where they say, Say you love me. No, say you love me. No, say you love me. No, say you love me. And seeing how she decided not to be in the third one, which I guess some people will assume that, you know, it didn't make that much money that, that it made. You know, yeah. Who, who cares? Um, This isn't about Transformers. This is about Megan Fox. And when you get her to star in other movies, she is terrible in them. I'm not kidding you. She is terrible. I mean, look at Jennifer's body. I mean, some of the scenes it looks like they just put CGI on her face to make her look scary. And, you know, who gives a fuck? And, you know, the way how she looks, she looks like she only has that same look on her face. And Jonah Hex. I did not see Jonah Hex, but trust me. Seeing how she was in the movie, I don't want... I didn't want nothing to do with that movie. I didn't want to put my money or any, any of my hard earned money I made from my, for my work and my job to, to give these people that opportunity to make more movies, which thankfully Jonah Hex bombed. I did hear she was also in, this is 40, which I avoided. Not because of her, because, you know, my own personal reasons. But seriously, Megan Fox has not proven that she's a great actress. She is bland and forgettable. She's not a great actress in this movie. Or any movies. Any of the movies that she's been in, Transformers 1, don't, didn't care. Didn't care for her. Just loved seeing her you know, lash her sexy booty, you know, sexy booty, you know, just seeing that sexy booty, you know, on the car, and you know, just, you know, not much I can say for that. And it's not because I hate hot chicks in a movie, but I like hot chicks that have minds, that have a freaking brain. Megan Fox, you know, they try to give her some backstory and Transformers, like, who gives a fuck? It's the same thing we've probably heard from other movies, like, who gives a flying fuck about our backstory? And freaking, you know, her, why even had her in the movie? She's not an actress! If the, I was this director, I would have found a much more better actress, like, freaking Emma Emma Stone, or, uh, who else? Um, any chick, any white chick, I might as well say. Now, don't be offended about me saying white chick, because I could say Caucasian or anything like that. But seriously, you could have gotten any Caucasian woman to play as April O'Neil. Maybe not everybody, any Caucasian woman that could be perfect. I mean, as long as they have big tits, well, I guess I just answered my own damn question. Michael, I can understand why Michael Bay put her in this movie. She looks fine. She looks, a, she looks like a very fine woman that, that freaking 20 fucking year old boys 
are going to be masturbating when they see her and that if hopefully if she's wearing the yellow jumpsuit and the white boots you know they're going to be basically it's going to be guys sitting in that theater jerking off masturbating until their sperm starts spewing out all over the damn seats and you know what that's all Michael Bay cared. I think that's all that Michael Bay just cared. Just getting a hot chick. So obviously he had to pick the only hot chick that he can think of. That he can possibly get in his movie. It's freaking Megan Fox. So what else is going to be next? Megan Fox and who else? Shia LaBeouf as freaking Leonardo or Raphael. That would be kind of stupid but you know. It might ha probably happen. Or who else could they put that was in a Michael Bay movie? Oh yeah, you're gonna have Nicholas. You're gonna have Nicholas Cage as the Shredder. You know what? I'm done. Cause they could have picked any Caucasian woman to play as April O'Neil. But they had to pick one of the most talentless girls that's in Hollywood right now who everybody hates. And I just think that, you know what, if they make this movie PG or PG-13 or whatever, it's, I don't know. See how they got the director who did Darkness Falls? And what else? Freaking um, Wrath of the Titans, which I didn't go see. And a couple of movies he's done from time to time, and he's directing this movie. So I'm not, I don't know if they're sure if they're gonna make it live action or all CGI or whatever. It's rumored there's gonna be live action. It's rumored gonna be CGI. You know what? This movie's definitely on my list to rip on. So I'm going to rip this movie apart. Like a bitch. going to rip this bitch apart like that. Oh, and, uh, you by the trailer, look forward. Look forward for that, people. Because that's going to be something I'm going to do when this movie gets released. Don't care about the trailer or anything. I'm going to rip this bitch apart just like that. So, new Ninja Turtle movie, you're on my motherfucking list.